created a new part for my oxygen regulator. And, well, I tried to take this piece all apart and it didn't work, so I needed to buy that new piece. Not sure if that went with the kit or not. Um, probably the wrong kit for this, but the piece was the right piece. And so I'm going to just quickly go through and reassemble it. The previous part in the video was just a quick reverse and taking it apart, but here we go. The main cap part, that piston piece goes in. The spring. And then that little metal thing with that plastic o-ring on the bottom. And then I just put it in the center. And then just screw it down. I got the repair kit for 20 bucks off of Amazon. It was the best one I could find and it seems to all be working just fine. So first, yeah, I finger tightened it. And then just use a wrench to tighten it up really tight. I had to use these pliers to lock on. I had no way to grip it and unscrew it, so just using them to hold it as I screw things on and just assemble it. So this little diaphragm thing, I didn't know which way that hole goes. Uh, I didn't know if it meant, was meant to go a certain way. So I just guessed and put it on top. Maybe it doesn't even matter. Then put the spring back on. The little cap ring thing with that little groove po pointing up. And then that little metal piece. From here I just take the top and screw it on. to get some better grip here because it wouldn't turn past my other players and it just adjust them and just make sure it's tight once you're satisfied with that you can take it apart well take the pliers off And then, there we go. It's all fixed, and now it's time to test it out. So here we are at the oxygen tank. I'm going to just screw it on. First, finger tight. Use the wrench just to make sure it's really tight. And time to test it. There you go. On and it's holding pressure in the tank. And I'll 
tighten this up a little bit, a little to show a little bit of pressure in the hose. There we go. It's working so far, so good. I know I tightened a little here, but basically I'm going to now check for leaks. So just take some soapy water, Windex, something that is bubbly, spray it on and see if it bubbles anywhere. My liquid's probably not quite soapy enough. Um, I could do, redo the test, but it wasn't leaking. It's not leaking. Everything's good. So, so there we have it. It worked with a repair kit that wasn't even really for it.